These are U-swing glasses. What do you think? Are they me? Are they you? Either way, they're six hundred five hundred and ninety-nine dollars. They're worn by people like C.T. Pan, Ro Zhang, and none other than multi-major champion winner Phil Mickelson, who won his latest major, the PGA Championship, while wearing a pair of U Swing glasses. They are incredibly light, 21 grams to be exact. Look how flexible they are. The fit is spectacular. The lens is supposed to be anti-glare, anti-everything, extra clarity and vision. Cuts down on everything so that you could supposedly see things better, read the greens better, and they have a, a tint, supposedly, that uh, helps calm your, your energy, keeps you calm. I don't know how you measure something like that. But today we're gonna put these to the ultimate test. All right, we've got to have something to compare these two. So we're gonna get the most um, look-alike glasses that are super cheap from Walmart here to see if these are any better than the cheapest pair we can find. Let's go. Do you have like a cheap sunglasses? Or Right there, okay, yeah. thank you. How much are these? What do you think? These aren't bad, how much are these? These are $6 Minecraft glasses. We got my $600, use swing. We're gonna go against a legitimate $30 pair of very similar style glasses and we'll see if they're even better than the $6 Minecraft glasses. Let's go. Thank you. All right, we're gonna be testing them all on course. I've already got an initial assessment of which one is the worst. Any guesses so far? but we're gonna see how they perform when we're actually playing, starting with uh, you swaying here. So the things we're looking for when it comes to eyewear on the golf course would be, do we lose the ball when we swing? Like, is it going in and out of the glasses? I hate that, no one likes that. Also weight, we want them light. We want them to be fit really nicely without any like pinching on our head. We don't want to get a headache as we play golf. Also the glare, what type of tint do we have? Does it ruin things? Is there any parallaxing going on? I think it's the term where things are warped a little bit. We don't want any of that. We want a nice, clear, easy, pleasing, pleasant, relaxing image, vision. And besides looking cool, because that should always be the case when it comes to eyewear, we also want to make sure that if we put something on our eyes, that it actually helps us in terms of cutting out like glare, especially on the greens. We want to make sure that it's helping us read the greens better which, well, these don't make that claim, but you swing makes the claim that you're gonna read the green way better than you otherwise would. All right, we're going to $30 body glove glasses here for the second phase of this hole. We have 111 yards, a 50 degree wedge here. Already I'm seeing the edge of the frame and it's giving me a brown tint. I don't hate the tint and the pinching. It's a little tighter than the other ones, than the U-swing. There's some like reflections I'm getting from the sun behind me. I'm not too comfortable with.
Well, that's going pretty close to home though. Yeah, so far what I'm noticing with the $30 pair is, although they're light, they fit good. It's a good look. The blues are a lot bluer. There are some like reflections and bending going on in terms of the environment around me. Like it's warping some of the trees um, just a little. And then when I look down at the ball, I could see not behind me, but the sun is coming in. And so I kind of see the sun reflection when I look down at the ball, it kind of shoots in here. So for golf, these aren't doing the, the greatest trick, but they are only 30 bucks. So you're saving like 500 and uh, what, 70 bucks. The question though, are these a go or a no go on the golf course? Now on the putting green, $30 body glove glasses from Walmart. Without them, it's just, it's green. Yeah, there's some glare. The sun is in high overhead. Like we got the brightest of the day. So it cuts out a lot of glare, but there's still a lot of, it's hard to describe this weirdness going on with the, the lenses. I think immediately we can eliminate body glove $30 glasses. These are um, maybe a good cheap pair to keep around the car, but definitely not something you wanna play golf with. Now we're going with the $6 Minecraft glasses. And immediately these are better than $30 glasses from body glove. Although I see some frame in my vision, it's, it wraps around pretty good to the side. So. I'm not gonna lose it. It's not gonna interfere with the ball while I'm hitting. That's a good thing. And the color is immediately better looking through the lens, meaning it's more natural color. And the fit is good. Although they're plastic, they don't flex that much. They're light, fairly light. And they fit good down on my hat. Now, how many people are gonna wear kids Minecraft glasses while they're playing golf? I don't know, kids might, but they're only six bucks. So you're saving like $94 right out of the gate. One of the things we wanna know, can you look through your range finder and say, oh yeah, no problem. They kind of match my master's themed Precision Pro range finder. These are awesome. Okay, these are good. All right, glare test here. Reality is much more green and yellow. And this, I'll tell you what, the colors are identical. The only difference is when you put these on, it's like just putting a UV filter on front. Like it's just a few stops, what they say, darker. And the blues are a little more vibrant. I'm seeing zero reflection or glare ricochet back. I do see a little frame, but what's cool is if you get the green ones, the Minecraft ones, <laughs> it's the same color as you know the grass and stuff. So it blends in nicely. In terms of performance wear, look, if you wanna look silly in Minecraft glasses, they're not half bad. And they're definitely worth the $6 price tag. I think if you have kids, these are the way to go. Now, I don't know how well they protect your eyeballs, with the technology going on, but I don't hate these for golf course performance. But what we're all wondering about are the U-Swing $599 shades. I love the flexibility. They are the lightest of all of them, that's for sure. Warming up on the range when we're switching out glasses, there is a massive massive difference in um, shade and lens difference as we went from glasses to glasses. The $30 ones were by far the worst, by far. The kids ones were second place. These are by far the best in terms of color. It's a couple stops darker, but super, it's not like dark. It's just subtle, just brings it down a little bit. 
and there's zero um, glare or reflection on the edges or anywhere for that matter, nothing. And as far as seeing the rims in my peripheral, I mean, very tiny, but they almost disappear magically as you focus on the, like the, your ball or the shot. We're testing these really on a perfect day. It's a little overcast, slightly overcast, but the sun occasionally pops out of the clouds. So you got a lot of, let's say, hazy type of glare that your natural eyes would struggle with. Normally I wear nothing when I play for the reasons of the color's never perfect and I hate seeing the rim when I swing the club back, especially if it crosses over the ball. And over the course of 18 holes, I hate it when it pinches on my head and you know, it's just awkward. And then taking on and off my hat, I don't want him to move and hit the edge of my hat here. Because a lot of times, you know, you would do something like that. So that's really good. Some people wear them above there. I'm never a fan of that, that's not me. So they fit nicely between my hat and my ear, which it, there isn't much space. Obviously the range finder test, because nobody likes taking their glasses on and off to look through the range finder. These are nice. 234 left to the par five. I know they're 600 bucks, so it's gonna rule out a lot of people already. I get that, they're expensive. So you're gonna have to factor that into your budget. It's like a driver. But to be fair, I only hit my driver max 14 times around. These would be on for 65 shots around or 95, it depends on where you're at. Hopefully they do what they say. This is the um, emotion test. Will they keep my emotions calm? Obviously good shots do that by themselves. Those are free. Well, you gotta practice. Nonetheless, I want my emotions calm while I swing. <laughs> okay, I hit that really good. But I was calm while I hit it. We got a chance. Full disclosure, you swing did send me the glasses. I've never spent more than $250 on a pair of sunglasses. I probably wouldn't spend more than that on glasses anyways. So for me, these would be a difficult buy. Let's see how they work though on the greens. And that might change my mind. This is the big test. How are these when it comes to the greens? Because I would spend a lot more money if they help with green reading. And I'm just trying to see, like, do I see the slope and undulation better with them on? Here, it's great because the light is very flat light, so it makes things kind of difficult to read at the moment. I've got to say, it's easier with these than the other two, 100%. I could see more of the subtleties of the green. I mean, obviously, if a eagle putt goes in, how much are eagles worth? How many strokes would it need to save you for you to spend $600? Or how much would I spend? Hmm. Okay. Birdie. Kicking birdie. You can wear these everywhere. Driving around, I've worn them. Well, they're, they're everyday glasses, for sure. And the performance on the golf course, they're the best golf course glasses or sports glasses I've worn, specifically golf. On a scale of one to 10, I mean, these are like a nine five for golf course glasses. On the price ranking, gosh, they're like a four. This is so expensive. So you gotta figure that out for yourself. But I hope this was helpful. They are high quality and they are incredibly awesome. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time.